we're back with carry out crafts. Um, today we're doing Valentine's bird feeders. This is a really fun and pretty simple craft. Yeah. So um, we'll have all the instructions and we'll actually even put it in the comments. So if you end up not getting to get one of our carry out crafts, you can put this stuff together on your own pretty cheaply. Yeah, it is great and you can make so many with them. <laughs> okay, so in your carry out craft, we're gonna have a few things and you will need a few things from home. So yep. we have what, we got bird seed. Bird seed. We got a microwavable bowl mm -hmm. with two tablespoons of water. We got the string to be able to hang the stuff. There is a piece of straw that you'll use inside of it to be able to string it. Mm -hmm. The cookie cutter that yep. we've got. Parchment paper, so less mess. Yep. And um, a package of gelatin, not uh, the not unflavored food original gelatin yep. the very boring stuff right um and we're actually just going to share this because you're only going to use half a packet so we're sharing right. today um but you will need your own spoon and you the microwavable bowl will be yours and the water of course will be yours and some cooking, cooking spray, spray. Okay. it'll be cooking spray because of getting it out of the cookie cutter smoothly smoothly yeah yes and again if you have other cookie cutters you yeah. can you know expand we, this recipe yeah. and make a lot of fun ones. Yeah, we'd love to see what you guys yeah. make. All right, so what's the first step? All right, first let's go ahead and spray our cookie cutter so that okay. we can get that out of the way. All right, this you is not gonna go well. Just put it on the page and just spray it. Okay, that's yeah. probably too much. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Yeah, that, that's good All enough. Right. All right. <laughs> Okay, so just a little bit goes a long way. Exactly. All right, so then we have, we already went ahead and put two tablespoons of water into each bowl. Yep. And you're not heating it up ahead of time or nope. anything. Um, and make sure you follow the instructions yes. for the gelatin carefully because it can be a mess. Yes, our instructions. Yes. Not, not yes. like packaging instructions. Yes. yes. Follow our instructions for this carefully. It can be a mess. Because we did it a, a gelatin way and that was incorrect. So we're gonna do half a pack. And then she's gonna do the rest of the pack. And we're not store, you know, resist the temptation to immediately start stirring because that's what I wanted to do and that's how we got it messed up. All right, so half a pack of gelatin and two tablespoons of water and then you're gonna let it sit for a minute um, until it's completely absorbed. Um, and so you'll see that the powder um, starts soaking and so it goes from a white consistency to more of a translucent. All right, now that the um, gelatin is completely absorbed in the water and you can tell that it has because it's completely translucent. And it, you can like put it on the side. And All right, and so now what we do is we put it in the microwave for 25 to 40 seconds. Yep. You do not want it to boil. Um, just, just enough until it is hot. hot. Yeah, okay. Okay, and just a Heads up, yep. if it's a low bowl like this is, even at 30 seconds, it can yeah. bubble oh. up. So keep an eye on the microwave. Watch yeah. it while it um, heats. Yeah. And and really, I say probably no more than 30 seconds. Yeah, really. <laughs> yeah. It, it's, it will be pretty hot. Yeah. All right. Okay, so now what we're gonna do is, uh, oh, stir, stir it. it. Stir it first. Stir it just to make sure that everything is, is completely dissolved. And it really is. Yeah. Um, and then we take our half a cup of uh, bird seed and pour it in. Now this is Stephanie's favorite part, <laughs> getting messy. Yes. Okay. You want to stir it up because you want to make sure the whole, all of the bird seeds are covered with the gelatin because that's what keeps it together when you take it out of the cookie cutter. You want exactly. it all to be to know for certain, it will give it a, that nice shine to it and get the dust that is naturally on the bird seed kind of away, so. All right, so once it's completely covered, um, then you uh, pour it into the cookie cutter mold mm -hmm. and you kind of want to have this, the uh, straw, the straw, because we're going to have to have a place for the hole for the uh, twine to go. And wherever you want to put the straw is totally up to you. Yeah. And like I said, this does make 
make, um, we're, you know, we minimize the portions. Um, so if you have extra cookie cutters, you can use the rest of the, um, the mixture on, um, in another cookie cutter if you have one. Yeah. Um, but otherwise, yes, you want to press it in, pack it in so that it really sticks. You know what, since I don't have an extra bird feeder, or cookie cutter, I'm just gonna make a little in my bowl. So it's a nice big round disc. Yep. That sounds like a great idea. I'm like just cleaning up all of this extra. Oh, I was just gonna leave it on my, you're right. That's probably a better thing to do. Yeah, I'm just gonna use my finger. Okay, so now once you've got it all set, then you actually want to set it and to set it quickly, mm -hmm. you can put it in your refrigerator yes. for at least an hour. Yeah. Um, we, the, the longer the, the better. better, the better. It, you're, you're really just trying to get that gelatin and to, the bird seed to set. Yes. Okay. So the longer that it's in there, the more solidified it will be. So if you want to just leave it for a while, go off. Yeah, do it overnight, whatever. Yeah. So once it has set is pretty easy. Yeah, all we gotta do now is to carefully, but firmly punch Slide out the, up. yeah. Oh. Oh. All right, nice and easy. And now, all right, now the, now straw. the straw. Out. Okay. And then you, Put this string through. Oh well. I think this is the hardest part. There we go. Okay, so that's all you have to do for that. And then with my extra one, since I put it in the paper bowl, I can just remove the paper bowl. Yeah. Ah, isn't that neat? So, I mean, I have some more ribbon. I can just slide that through. Yeah. And so if you do that, can do a little something extra with the rest of your bird seed. Right? So now that we have the string through the feeders, you can hang them up on any tree, bush, someplace that you can see them. Up, see them and watch the birds have a nice little snack. Um, we hope you enjoy this craft and we'll see you next time. Bye.